In today's Healthy Eats, we want to talk about something that's good for our bones, good for our immune systems, and more, vitamin D. Now, many of us know we can get it from the sun, but we can also find it in plenty of healthy foods. So today, I'm talking to an expert about finding nutritious sources for vitamin D. Joining me today is registered dietitian and nutritionist, Vicki Shanta Ritelny. Now, Vicki, I think we should start by talking about what vitamin D is and why we need it. Yes, vitamin D is an essential nutrient. You know, it's not only a vitamin, it acts as a hormone in the body. It actually helps with our bone strength and health because it works with calcium, but it also helps fend off chronic disease states like type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and certain cancers. Plus, it helps support our immune system. So vitamin D is a magical nutrient. It does so much in the body. So what are some good sources of vitamin D when it comes to food? Vitamin D can be found in fortified milk, so either dairy milk or plant-based milk, plus eggs. Egg yolk contains the vitamin D. And fatty fish, salmon, halibut, tuna. Try to get fish in twice a week if you can. So at least eight to 12 ounces of fish per week is vital, not only to get good fats, but to get vitamin D. So how much vitamin D should we actually be getting in our diets versus getting in supplements versus getting in the sun? Like what do we need as a whole to live a healthy life? The recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is 600 international units. So that's IU on a supplement label. But so you want to think, how does that translate to food? A cup of milk has about 25% of the recommended daily allowance of vitamin D need for the day. So you think about it, if you get four cups of milk a day, you're getting your adequate vitamin D. I always say food comes first. So if you can, eat these vitamin D rich foods. So Vicki, a great way to get anything into our diets is by having a great recipe on hand. And you have a good one that's gonna give us a healthy dose of vitamin D. What are we making today? Yes, I'm excited to make curried egg salad lettuce tops. Got two hard boiled eggs, and I'm just gonna chop the eggs. And you see that amazing yolk where you're getting all that luscious vitamin D. What I love is this is a one bowl recipe. I'm going to add some plain Greek yogurt to this and a little bit of Dijon mustard. You know, whenever I do salads like this, I add a little Dijon, and then the piece de resistance is the curry powder. And then you're gonna add a little bit of shallot to it, just to give it a little flavor and a little zip. And then at the very end, and this is very optional, I add a little dip, a little pinch of salt. So you just add that to your lettuce cup, and it's done. Thank you so much for sharing that recipe with us. I think the biggest lesson that we can learn from today is that Obviously we need vitamin D in our diets and a great way to get more vitamin D is through great healthy food. Yes, you wanna think about eating these vitamin D rich foods daily. So think about getting fortified milks, either dairy milk or plant-based milks, the whole egg. So eating that egg yolk really does give you vitamin D and fatty fish. Vicki, great information. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Okay, we want to hear from you. How are you getting more vitamin D into your diet? Let us know on Facebook. We're at Living Healthy Chicago. So if you like this video and want more Living Healthy, just subscribe to our channel.